Okay, for Friday Night Art Dorks, I'm showing off my home-built Geiger counter. Here's the guts. On the right, we have a disposable camera flash that we've hacked to put out a variable high voltage. In the middle, this area right here, I've got a resistor network that acts as a ballast and it capacitively couples the tube output to the scope so I don't trash my scope. And on the left here, I have one vintage Russian Geiger tube. Now let me put the camera down and I can show you the supporting cast. Over here, we've got a couple multimeters that are showing you the voltage that I'm handing into the flash unit and the voltage is actually going into the tube. In the middle, kind of back there-ish, you can see my vintage old power supply. And over here, my pride and joy, a reasonably nice oscilloscope. Over here on the far left, we have an antique CDB 700 that has a radio source in it and my uh, house smoke detector which has an americium source in it. Let's go back over here. I will turn the power supply on and what we'll see, so let me turn it a little bit further so we can actually see the uh, voltmeters, we'll see the voltage come up to a reasonable amount. So with 2.5 volts in, I'm getting 586 volts on the tube itself. I'd like a little bit more than that. It seems to work best right now with about 750 to 800 volts as my input into the tube. Now you will notice that over here on the scope, you can now see occasional clips. The spikes that you're seeing are when the tube is discharging to ground when it gets hit by cosmic rays. So what we're seeing over here is more or less background radiation. Well, it is background radiation. So now I'll put my uh, vintage old Geiger counter up here beside it, and you'll see a whole lot more spikes because there's a whole lot more radiation coming off the thing. My smoke detector is nowhere near as effective. I guess smoke detectors aren't really all that radioactive, but you can still see there's a fair number of spikes. Put it back over here, and after a minute, it should drop back down to just a few spikes. I'll be posting the details on how I hacked the flash unit with before and after schematics and stuff like that on our, our website, madscientisthut.com, later tonight. I think I should point out that this involves messing about with 900 volts, so be careful. I fried a perfectly good multimeter right there because it turned itself off because it thought I wasn't using it and it was trying to save batteries while there was still 900 volts going into the front end of this. Don't let this happen to you. Thanks for watching my video.